Um, but what we're talking about right now is Meghan and Harry. Did they do the right thing? Was it good on them to make their announcement, to demote themselves from senior royals to perhaps middle-ranking royals, or bad on them? Did they not um, you know, tell the Queen about these moves uh, beforehand? And has that embarrassed her? Has that left her upset? Apparently Harry is her favourite grandson. So where do you stand on this? 0345 6060 973. We'll be speaking to Robert Hardman from the Daily Mail in a minute. But let's go to Simon in Orpington. Good on them or bad on them? What do you think? Matt, good morning. Good well, morning. look, Matt, if you wanted a guest with a chip on their shoulder, I think you definitely got your money's worth from Shola there. Mm. I am tired of this cry of racism um, about over any issue, and, and particularly over Meghan. Look, there was two, as far as I remember, there was two examples of racism over Meghan. One was widely condemned for it, and two was a nasty tweet from Danny Baker, which, again, people widely condemned, apart from some of your more liberal colleagues, Matt, who seem to be friendly with Danny Baker and so sought to defend him. Mm. I think the nation is tired of being called racist. People took to Meghan when she first came. Right. Where this beautiful girl come over, um, people were very excited. Over time, people have got a bit fed up with her. And really... But what have they got to... fed up with? Well, at the end of the day, Matt, it's down to her to ingratiate herself with the British people. She's come over um, to here. Now, I think people don't take to some of the virtue signaling. Now, let me give you an example of, of private jets, taking the private jets whilst lecturing us on climate change. Now, but he was doing Canada, that as much as Meghan, right? I mean, that's the two of them doing it. Well, absolutely. And I think people, again, are getting people liked Harry. And this is why it's not a race, race issue, because people really, really liked Harry. They've grown up with it. You know, they've seen him grow up. Yeah. But now they're getting a bit tired. If they are, um, if climate change is so important to them, then great. Go to Canada. But we don't want them taking flights back over because of all the carbon emissions mm. they're going to emit. So if they want to stay in Canada... Great, Harry and Meghan, you go there with our blessing and you stay there. If you want to come over here, perhaps Greta Thunberg can lend you her yacht so you're not, right. emission car not emitting carbon emissions. Right. OK, Simon, thank you very much indeed. That point has been made by a lot of people and uh, they have tried to explain that uh, away quite carefully themselves.